Another great time-saving tool that Illustrator gives you is Actions. And we'll open this one up here, and you can see that it ships with several default actions already in there. The one that I use the most is Delete Unused Panel Items. That's why I moved it up to the top. So let's open that one up and see what's contained in there. So this is called your um, action set. Like when you click on here, the folder, top folder, is a set. And each of these things within it are actions. And even though there are several actions, you can have lots of sub actions in here. So the one to delete unused panel items, as you go through them, it selects all the unused, it deletes them, selects all unused styles, deletes them, etc., etc. So we've got those as the subsets of this one here. And you can just click on this and either hit the play button here, or you can go up in here and hit play, or you could just hold down the command key on a Mac, control key on a PC, and double click on that, and it's gonna start running through the actions there. So those are the different ways you have of making use of the actions. And the really handy thing is you get to write your own. And we can start off, like we're gonna create a new set. I'm going to be doing a series of isometric projections, a special custom one for a client. So I'll call this one custom ISO. And I'm creating my set here. Then in that set, I can't start recording. Notice how we're getting that can't do it yet. That little symbol to say no, because I can't record anything into a set. You have to record into an action. So I'm going to create a new action, and I'm just going to call this one top because we have to have different parts of the isometric projection. So I click on here. Now notice it's going to let me begin recording. However, I don't have to begin recording anything right now. It's not like a video camera. It's not recording any elapse of time. It's just recording what I do. So if I go up and choose anything, and if I'm dithering over what I'm doing, it's not recording the time spent on that. In fact, I don't even have to do anything right now at all. I'm just going to stop, and I'll leave this, and we will start on the next tutorial actually recording our actions for our custom isometric selection.